Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing another Artifact Strongbox video, but today is a special one because we are preparing for a character who hasn't even come out yet, and that is Deha. Let's get right into the video. But before we do that, if you guys could just take a minute to go down and click that subscribe button, only a small percentage of you are actually subscribed, and it really doesn't take that much time at all. It's just one simple click of a button, and it really means a lot to me. That all being said, let's get into the video. Today is a special day because we are preparing for Deha. Now, I'm really excited for this character. Out of all the Sumeru characters that have, you know, been announced so far, I, her character was the one I enjoyed the most while playing through the main story of the game. There's nobody else who I thought was a better character. I love her tone. I love her appearance. There's just so much that's so great about her character. And that's why I'm looking forward to rolling for her in her upcoming banner. However, I also want to make the best Deha possible. And today we are going to do that using the Forbidden Artifact Strongbox. Now, something that I've realized with the Strongbox is that if you want an artifact set, you got to trick it a little bit. You got to manipulate it a little bit. So because I got Yoimiya in the party right now, they're going to think, oh, he probably wants pyro artifacts, good pyro artifacts. They already know. And because Genshin knows I'm such a, you know, great content creator who loves their game very much, they are going to give me exactly what I want. Now, before we go too deep into this, I don't know Deha's kit. I couldn't tell you the first thing about it. It may have nothing to do with Crimson Witch of Flames, which is the one I'm rolling for. But I have a gut feeling, a gut instinct that she's going to need this set. For what basis am I going on on this? Uh, number one, she's a pyro character. Number two, there's no number two. There's just a number one. She's a pyro character. Pyro character needs pyro goblet. I, I just put two and two together. And now we're getting the best possible artifacts for her. Is this a little bit presumptuous? Maybe. But we're gonna go through it anyways. We're gonna load up our first 13 here. Let's see some absolute banger pieces for our girl. No, 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 no. Well, actually, maybe this could be good. No, oh my gosh, that piece is sad. I could use a good hat. Any good hat? No, no. Healing bonus? No, no. Oh, this video is gonna go terrible. Oh, this video is gonna go terrible. I can already feel it. Did we even get any good pieces in the first batch? I don't think we did. Oh, why do I keep doing these? It's only pain. Crimson Witch. Apparently, I have some other ones too. Oh, yes. We did get this God Feather in a previous video, which is actually the best feather on my whole account. So, I really don't need another feather. And the chance of this one rolling better is really slim. But I guess we'll try it anyways, just in case it rolls crit rate. Elemental Mastery, unfortunate. Flowers, we have one potential one and the rest are trash. Come on, please, something good. Crit rate, flat attack, unlucky. Any other possible pieces? Doesn't look like it. No pyro damage on set and no crit rate, crit damage mass. We do have this one, which is pretty nice, but it's not the greatest in the world. It can definitely be improved. And that's what we're aiming for here today. I am nearly capped out on artifacts as well. 1390 out of 1500 so i actually do want to get rid of a couple artifacts so i hope we get at least a couple good pieces today because i'm gonna be honest most of those are four stars and three stars from doing so many domain runs and not having anything to upgrade so hopefully here today we have at least something that we're able to upgrade to hopefully throw on one of our characters let's go we're gonna load up 13 more hopefully we get a little bit luckier in our second batch than we did with that first batch let's see what we can get here Please just be better. Just one good piece. That's all I ask. I really don't need feathers, but we'll look anyways. That could be good. That's trash. That's trash. That could be good. Defense, HP, attack, trash. Maybe, 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 may. No, no, not that one. No. Okay, well, we got a couple possible flowers there. There was a couple good ones in that batch. Not anything that really stood out with like double crit rolls. But there were still like a couple possible ones. Let's check those. Crimson Witch Flowers. We got this one. This looks kind of tempting. This could be good. Double crit rolls. I have like a million plus four pieces that I don't need. We get rid of this, I guess. Bang. 
plus four. Ugh, energy recharge. Gross. This one could be crit rate every time. You don't know. Maybe. Energy recharge, not great. Roll crit rate. Energy recharge again. I don't need it. Unless it's just a straight... You know what? If it rolls straight energy recharge, I'll keep it. Maybe it's like the... 50 energy recharge piece keep rolling energy recharge just roll like 10 more times into it i want to have the highest er piece in all of genshin oh my goodness we could actually be seeing that here today 22 energy recharge what's happening who needs this much er i don't know surely this is good on somebody though come on give me i want to see 30 er now you give me crit rate now you give me crit rate really well i don't need it now and er Damn, crit rate. That's actually not a terrible piece, you know. 3 ER, 2 crit rate actually is not terrible at all. I think that's actually an upgrade for my Q Tau. However, it's still not, you know, a great piece. But, eh, we'll take it. 22 energy recharge. I feel like that could be, like, really nasty for somebody. I just don't know who. Let me know who in the comments below. Who, who this piece could be good on. Alright, we got more flowers, though. That wasn't the only one. We got this one. This could be deadly. We could be seeing 20 crit right here. We will not- Another ER! Stop with the ER! Bro, this is just the ER rolls. I don't need them. Can we get something that isn't ER in these next three rolls? No. Well, yeah, actually we can. It's just two dead stats. That's great. Alright. Moving on. Do we get anything else? Any other possible pieces? I mean, this one has crit damage attack. Guess it could be good. Maybe it's the most base piece of all time. It was not the most base piece of all time. This one has crit rate, energy recharge, attack. I mean, not much could go wrong here, right? Okay, everything went wrong. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess base two tau piece. Ayo, hey, base two tau piece though. Roll like, roll 40% HP. I'll take you to 20. Why? You couldn't just give it to me? I feel like that could be good for somebody though. Who needs HP? That is my highest HP percent piece on my whole account. Nilo could use it, I guess. Diona could use it. Uh, Kakomi could use it. Yeah, you know what? It's not terrible, actually. There's a lot of um, other characters who could use that piece. But I think that was the last of our flowers. Nothing that we can give our Deha there. Hopefully we get something better in this next batch. Let's find out. We pray and we hope, because we don't know. So far, the first two have been pretty dead wouldn't say there was any even possible pieces in that whole entire first two batches but this time this is the right one we got our third batch of artifacts coming up here let's get the god piece i feel it coming home for us today four goblets well the chance of getting an onset goblet is low but we can pray animo damage probably not hp animo damage geo damage trash trash Crit damage, that could be good. Trash. Crit rate could be good. Crit rate, crit damage. Okay. Man, we got three crit rate, crit damage hats in this one. Great stuff. Um, maybe. Trash. Trash. Okay, we got we got really possible pieces in that one. Really possible pieces. Before we do those, though, I just want to kind of get rid of my few last few artifacts. So I can just kind of get all my dead pieces out of the way to open up more artifact room. Maybe we get some god pieces in, the, in these last couple rolls. We only got five more. There's a chance. Maybe a really good sands would be nice. Oh, four sands. Okay. Trash. Attack percent. Attack percent. Attack percent. Attack percent. We'll get the attack percent sands one day. Here, watch this. Bang. Attack percent sands. Ooh. Actually, not a bad piece, though. We take that. Huge. Okay, we got two possible pieces then. Let's go. Let's see if any of these can roll well. All right, Crimson Witch. We got this one. This flower, which could roll the other crit stat. Probably won't, but we'll check it out. Energy recharge, yep, but what I thought. I seem to love energy recharge today. We got a couple possible feathers. We got this one, which could roll crit rate. Let's find out, is it gonna roll crit rate? It's gonna roll defense, okay. We got a plus zero feather with crit rate, energy recharge, attack. You know I love these pieces because they're gonna roll straight energy recharge. If I get one more energy recharge roll today, I think I'm gonna throw my computer out the window. Oh, it's okay because it's an HP. Woohoo! I'm not rolling you anymore. Okay, cool piece time. Where is it? There you are. Now this is the piece. Crit rate, crit damage, attack. I mean, what could possibly go wrong here? We're gonna get energy recharge right here. Nah, okay, I shouldn't say things that I don't mean. All right, but this time, just the top first stat and the third stat. That's all we need. First roll, it's attack at least, it's not defense. 
Still though, we would rather see crit damage and crit rate. We do not need attack percent. Oh my gosh. Oh, do I keep going? After that big fat five defense percent roll, I'll give it one more chance. Oh, how do you miss good stats every time, man? That's sad. Whatever. No new sands. No new sands. We do have this one with 3.5 crit rate. I mean, this could be good, I guess. There's a chance. If it just rolls straight crit rate, I mean, I mean, just watch this, guys. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, bang, straight crit rate. Never mind. All right, it's time for our plethora of hats. We have one that already has crit damage, and then we have two that could still roll it. Let's try them out. Come on, please. Crit rate. HP unlucky. That could still be good for Hugh Tao, though, so I'll hold on to it. I don't think I'll raise it, though. Um, and then we have this one, which, again, could roll crit damage. Could be very based. Let's test the waters with this one. Never mind. It flat HP. All right. We do have one big one, though. We got one big boy. 7.8 crit damage plus HP percent. Even if it rolls HP percent, we could still theoretically use it on Hugh Tao. But we really want that crit damage for our Deha. Let's see what we can make happen here. Roll crit damage twice. Okay, one time, we'll take it. One time, we take it. One crit damage, one flat attack. If we get one more, I'll be satisfied. 20% is not bad at all. Never mind. It's okay if we, like I said, if we get 20 crit damage, I'll go home happy. Not this piece. Three flat attack, one crit damage. Not great. It's pretty bad, actually. It, I literally have this piece, which is just a better version of this piece. So this is probably a sack piece, unfortunately. No new upgrades in the Crimson Witch domain today, which is a little unfortunate. I'm still going to try to build a theoretical day hut, kind of just in my head, using a different character. We'll just use a pyro character. Sinyan, sure. And we'll, I'm just going to try to build a day hut in my head. So my goal kind of was to go just at least two piece Crimson Witch. We do have a couple good pieces for her, like the God Feather here. And then we also had a decent crit rate hat. Other than that, I really don't have much for her though. I don't have any good attack percent sands. My best one is 21 crit damage. And my flowers, I mean, we did get the one with 22% energy recharge, which who knows, maybe that's really good for her, but I kind of doubt it. So I think it's said we go two piece gladiator. I feel like that's probably our best option. And I think I actually have some pretty decent glad pieces that we could try out and maybe get something better for her. Unfortunately, we have no pyro damage goblets on set, but I think we do have a couple sands like this one right here. Other than that, do we have any attack percent sands? Man, none really? That's so sad. I know we have good flowers though. Yes, so we have one on Ayaka, one on Shenhan, one on Ayato. If I had to pick one to take from, I guess I'd take Ayato because I don't use them as much. So we got one with 6% crit rate here, 19% crit damage. That's a pretty good flower. And then I guess we would also take this from Ayato. And then all we would need is a pyro damage goblet. So do we have any pyro damage in our inventory? Uh, that isn't gladiators. It, it can just be all of them. Pyro damage. We got this with 7 crit rate, 14 crit damage. Not great. That one's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Decent. Uh, Not upgraded. Not upgraded. Okay, well, we got a couple with, like, crit rate attack percent. These could be good. Why don't we try them out? We're going to stack that absolute abomination of a hat. And let's see. Maybe we got straight crit rate. Four crit rate rolls. Not today. Not today, it seems. 7 crit rate, 17 energy recharge, not good enough. We just need crit rate. I do not need other stats. Crit rate is the only stat that matters. For example, when we get it straight on this piece right here, we won't have to worry about anything ever again. 4 crit rate rolls right here. Oh! No way! No way! No way! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! No way! No way! I can't believe that just happened! <laughs> Oh my gosh, I did not expect that at all. I was bluffing. Oh my gosh, this could potentially be 20. Can it be 20 crit rate? No, but it can be like 19. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, okay. I mean, we gotta take it all the way. We have to take it all the way. This could be possibly nearly 20 crit rate right here. Oh my gosh, please game. Please give me 18 or 19 crit rate. I don't care about, I don't even care if it's a mineral. Just please give me 19 or 20 here. I pray. No way, no way. Oh my gosh. 
Bro, we just got an 18 crit rate piece. That is nuts. That is nuts. Oh my gosh. Well, there we go. There's our goblet. I don't think I'll have to worry about any more pyro goblets anymore. Oh my goodness. I think that's my highest crit rate piece on my entire account. That is crazy strong. I don't know what this, I think that's like 36 CV, which isn't the best thing in the world, but it also has attacks and EM, so it's not terrible either. That is crazy that just happened, guys. What's our stats now? 80 crit rate, 120 crit damage. We're definitely going to need more crit damage. Maybe we swap this out because of this crazy piece and get a little bit of a crit damage hat on there. I don't know. We'll figure it out in the future. Who knows? But I think for right now, we're going to end the video on that absolute dub if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more in the future please consider leaving a like down below or subscribing anyways guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one peace